What is going on folks? Saul Sandra here and today it's time to make a video 20 things I hate about Splatoon 3. Warning, this video could be a bit negative. I may be going off a rant and also it will contain some swearing because I don't give a crap because this is an 18 plus Splatoon video. I don't care if you watch my videos under 18 because keep that in mind, it will contain swearing. But because I don't give a f anyway, folks, without further ado, oh, it's time to it's time to piss off these motherfuckers. Let's fucking go. Number one, Salmon Run. Um, Salmon, I hate Salmon Run. I've been hating Salmon Run since 2018 on Splatoon 2. What the fuck? God damn it! Are you kidding me? For fuck's sake, bro! Pick me up, you freaking, freaking idiot! Always idiots in Salmon Run, man. Always freaking idiots. Always freaking idiots. Always freaking idiots. God, you're, you're fucking stupid piece of crap teammates in Salmon Run. This is why I don't like Salmon Run on Splatoon 3. Dude, are you stupid? Fuck! <laughs> Holy Salmon Run is full of little freaking kiddies teammates who sucked at Salmon Run, don't know how to play Salmon Run. They just don't help me with the shoreline enemies like fly fishes, steel eels, big shots, um, other annoying salmonids like slamming lids, and what the hell ever. I don't really remember because I have not been playing salmon on since my final big run, Eel Tail Alley, because I boycotted the big big run because guess what? It's fucking trash. How much I've been getting pissed off at teammates on Salmon Run. Because why? They're fucking stupid. They suck. And since August 19, 2020, guess what? I quit Salmon Run forever because I'm retired. Because Salmon Run fucking sucks. I call that Salmon Mid. I skipped Unami Ruins Big Run and the Big Big Run because they deserve to be boycotted. And I won two gold trophies from Salmon Run, which is on Big Run. And I didn't do extra, extra work, cause why? Salmon Run fucking sucks. So anyways, and I gotta keep telling about Salmon Run. Um, I don't like Salmon Run players. I don't watch Salmon Run content no more. I don't watch Salmon Run streamers, because why? Salmon Run freaking sucks. Because it's a shittiest, midiest, and stupidest mode in the history of Splatoon. Like, my god, I hope Salmon Run will be fucking removed from Splatoon when Splatoon 4 comes out. Hey, look, Splatoon 1 has no Salmon Run. Hell yeah. And here's the shitty part. Are you fucking kidding me, Nintendo? 800 bronze for the Octoling armor? Bullshit. It's trash! And if you're, if you're a Salmon Run hater and likes PvP better than Salmon Run on Splatoon franchise, and do, and you know Spl Splatfix is better than Big Run, you're in the right place. Guess what? Fuck Salmon Run! Number two, the negative side of the Splatoon community. Look, um, it's been something been through my head since 2023. Like, I get tired of negative people want to trash Splatoon 3 like saying Splatoon 3 sucks! Splatoon 3 is dying! Oh my god! Splatoon 3's internet sucks! Oh my god! I hate the Splatoon 3 maps! Oh my god! Splatfuss! Splatfuss sucks! Oh my god! Splatoon 2 is better than 3! Like, come on! What the fuck? I gotta, I gotta tell you something! Negative Splatoon players don't understand anything, any fucking thing. But because all they do, just act like a damn crybaby. 
Bitch about the maps. Every time they release the Splatoon 3 map. Bitch about the maps. Every time they release the shooter. Bitch about the shooters. Every time I watch one of these streams. Bitch about the matchmaking and the Nintendo Switch Online. I'm gonna talk about that later. And then every time new season. Cry like a bitch. And then they want to cope over the reap. Um, Zappers Canal, Moray Towers, Camp Triggered Fitch, what the hell ever. And then they want to bitch about the kids in Splatoon 3. Guess what? I don't think it's gonna happen, goddammit. Get over it. The Splatoon community needs to grow the fuck up. I need to grow the fuck up too. Same as Putz. Grow the fuck up, Putz. And same as as a. Sorry to mention Chase. The Rousnake. I'll talk about Nether Splatoon later. Grow the fuck up, man. Because I cannot stand your stupid bullshit in the Splatoon community who trashes Splatoon 3 and all this goddamn jazz. It's freaking laughable. It is hilarious. And that is pure locale. And I can't stand the hate like Splatfest hate. Because Splatfest hate is bullshit. So anyways... Again, Splatoon community, grow the fuck up, okay? Number three, backline players. So, how much I hate backliners in Splatoon 3. Like, oh my god, chargers, um, dry stringers, chest squelchers, hydrants, heavy splatlings. Oh my god, so many backliners. I got to say, um, I've been calling backliners, I hate to say that, talentless. Like, for example, E-Leaders, the Nap Chargers, tri stringers well strings hydrants and so on all they do go in the high ground like a little rat with the freaking back line who want to be a freaking camper just like call of duty that's why my own card sucks anyways Rem go play extra fire it's recommended for you folks like seriously i honestly i cannot goddamn stand backliners every fucking game I play, okay? I am sorry for the rant against the backlines like fucking snipers. Kill that fucking e-leader. Number four, blasters. Um, I've been so damn annoyed uh, over blasters on Splatoon 3. I have past rage clips that I lose, I lost my mind over rage blasters since the launch days of Splatoon 3. Go to hell! Go, go to hell! Go to hell, you freaking blaster! Go to hell! Right on hand off! What? Luna? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna report the Luna Blaster and freaking. Freaking tell Nintendo to Nerf Blaster. I'm reporting the cock sucking bastard cunch. Freaking cunning of an ass! Get the fuck out of the game, blasters! Toss grass! I have a freaking job! Which I will got talk about. Oh, come on. You gotta be kidding me. I'm sorry, Blaster Mains. I get really annoyed by freaking Blasters and its damn aerial of effect damage. Okay? Next up, number five, the Fry. Let's talk about the Fry propaganda. So, anyways, I was sick and tired of the whole Fry um, entitlement because I've been losing since. Fly one as Team Sweet. And then, months later, Fly won the Splatfest at Team Bucket List. Because Fly had the longest losing streak in Splatoon 3. And all the Fly propaganda and entitlement of these freaking kids does? They want to be desperate saying, Fly needs a win. Oh my god, I hate Shiver. Oh my god, why Big Mac winning? Why Big Man and Shiver winning? Like, come on. Fry can't win anything. Fry do doesn't deserve to win. Sorry, Fry. These cheese stick Fry's still gonna lose since Bucketlets of Fry's won the Splatfest. That's why I've been getting mad about whole Fry propaganda bullshit. People are gonna think I hate Fry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I get 
I get the beef against the fly popping ad though. Anyways, at the end of the day, idols doesn't matter. Who is gonna win the summer night splat bets? We'll find out soon enough. Number six, Nintendo Switch Online for Splatoon 3. I hate to say this, man. Um, vacation hours really sucked. Latency sucks. You get players that lag hard. Um, then you get, um, one or two players left the match, and it will disconnect you from the match. Uh, it really sucks still. But yeah, they're gonna be $20 per year moment. Like, um, I suggest you to number one. Get an ethernet port. Number two, get better internet. Get fiber optics. I need to get fiber optics too because I've been dealing with Spectrum for three damn years. So anyways, yeah, Nintendo Switch Online moments fucking sucks. But you have to deal with that shit. Unfortunately, if they get decades servers on Switch 2, I would be happy to Nintendo about it. Give Nintendo some time, man. Number seven, the Max Buy It. Um, I've been sick and tired of people bitching about the map thing. Splinter 3's map sucks! Oh my god, why are these maps on tactic pieces? Oh my god, why are these maps on Splinter 3? Like Seriously, it's bullshit. I say the maps are fine for months. So by the way, every time they release a map, they bitch about the map. I said that on number two, the negative side of the Splatoon community. Like seriously, I can't stand people bitching about the map. Like, I got to say, people who bitch about the map, shut the fuck up. You are an idiot. So I for roasting negative people in the Splatoon community. So anyways, I feel the maps again got better and, and the maps are now fine. And guess what? Grow the fuck up, the map buys is over, and stop bitching about the maps. Simple as that. Go play the maps that you love, okay? Seriously, and you people think Louder sucks and Groovin sucks. Like seriously, again, these tricks don't understand anything. Flounder Heights and Bluefin Depot is fucking golden. Understand that. Oh, if you don't, if you, if you don't agree with me, oh, that's fine. Move on with your damn subject, for fuck's sake. Number eight, stuck every time. I hate being stuck on Splatoon. Like, here's an example, Splatoon 3. Um, you get stuck in enemy ink, you die. You get, you get stuck by a bomb, you die. You get stuck by a explosive L, you die. You get stuck in a corner, you die. You get stuck by knockoff damage and Sauron, you die. Um, you get stuck by bullshit, you die. You die, you die, you die, you die. And you get stuck even more, a lot in Splatoon 3, with your skill at your moments. You goddamn die. Being stuck every time on Splatoon or Splatoon 3 sucks. I try to use egg resistance. Sometimes it don't work, which is I get really annoyed by that. So anyways, being stuck every time sucks balls. Anyways, next up, number nine, the shooter bias. So I've been a shooter main for a long time. And since Splatoon 2, they talk about the shooter privilege. I call that the shooter bias. Just like Paul Charles said, which is I don't watch Paul Charles no more. I'll talk about the Splat Tubers later. So yeah, dude. Um, they release the sh they release the shooters, and all they do is just want to complain about the shooters. Like, oh my God, my shooters are so good in Splatoon 3. Oh my God, 52 gallons of power. Oh my God, oh my God. Um, Fire Shot and Trizuka overpowered. Oh my God, Triple A strikes, Black Bomb, T Tech. And Aftershock overpowered. Oh my god. Shooters are so ridiculous in Splatoon 3. Stop using shooters. Like, come on. What the hell? It's bullshit. As a long time shooter main since Splatoon 2 and Splatoon 3, one kid told me, go back to Splatoon 2 because you're a shooter main. Guess what? Fuck you, bitch. You have no life. You will have balls. Oh yeah? It's driving me crazy number 10 the splatfest hate i get tired of splatfest hate all the time every time um there's a splatfest announcement 
They're gonna try splat fence. They. Oh my god! It's called champ fence. Oh my god, splat fence sucks. Oh my god, Shiver's gonna win. Oh my god, Bigfoot's gonna win. Like, the hell's wrong with you, man? Bullshit. I just can't stand people hating on splat fence. I'm the OG. I love splat fence so much, but. They want to keep trashing Splat Fets. Trashing Splat Fets on Splatoon 3. Oh my god. They on 3. 3 Team Splat Fets is no no go. Oh my god. Try color sucks. Like, oh my god. That is damn annoying. I can't stand the Splat Fets haze. I am sorry. I got to say, stop with the Splat Fets hate. That is fucking bullshit. Like, it's making me really mad, though. Uh, okay. Anyways. Play Splat Fets. Splat Fets. Supposed to be a vibe zone. Guess what? There's Face Banks. Guess what? There's Hunter X Bell. Guess what? There's Conch Clash. You don't have to worry about mirror matches. Like, can you stop with this Splat Fets hate? Bullshit. Sorry about that, dudes. I'm on a rant. Number 11. My rage is shoot. Like, I got to say, um, I slammed my death. I threw controllers. I rage quit. I get mad at people, including Naya people, like teammates. Um, calling them cunch. Calling Elspace really sucks. Backliners really sucks. So yeah, dude. Um, like, I gotta just say, I get mad at teammates, Elspace, backlines, blasters like rain splashers and ass splats, negative splat tubers. Especially my ultimate rage against SM Aiden. What the f? <laughs> because I got in trouble for my mom for that, for saying. <laughs> so, anyways, folks, it basically punched that C word. So, yeah, like, for my rage issues and anxiety issues and stress. I get mad at Salmon Run, I block and report players, I get mad at bullshit that killed me, I get mad at blasters, I get mad at backliners, I get mad at Salmon Run teammates, I get mad at teammates on Turf War on Splatfest, I get mad at teammates on Ranked, and especially I broke 4 controllers and Joy-Cons because one of my rage moments because of drip and also i get mad at twitter all the time that i'm gonna talk about twitter also so anyways that is my rage issue and that's why i've been taking a long break from splatoon 3 and pvp games because of my high hate anyway folks next up number 12 i hate to say it the catalog um yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't complete every catalog now because of Sizzle Season 2023 and 2024, Drizzle Season 2023, and Chill Season 2024 because of my dropout arc. Uh, one of these emotes and clothing and um, locker room stuff wasn't interesting that much in my opinion. I could get it from a shower machine, but unfortunately, one of these catalogs, uh, they're not much interesting that much, to be honest with you folks. It's just like battle passes from Exafire and Fortnite. I can't complete every battle pass or catalog. So don't worry, hopefully I'll complete the catalog for the second rain of Splatoon 3. Like, no matter what, you don't have to be in rush for a catalog for that. So by the way folks, yeah, don't worry, I'll get a catalog grind return till 2025. And anyways, next up, number 13, Table Turf Battle. Um, Table Turf, it's really boring for me personally. You can play Table Turf online, but unfortunately, I don't really care about Table Turf. It's so boring. You got to bully the jellyfish all the damn time to play Table Turf. And by the way, I got to say, yeah, and I don't have a freaking shark emo because why i don't really play table turf personally so anyway table turf ain't that good it's boring as fuck number 14 turf four um turf four is boring honestly you get locked out by enemy team like example aerospray hydrides 
Um, spot bomb spamming. Um, snipers. Whatever. You get one of these maps that lock you out. And in the past, I rage quit at Turf War in the past on solo queue Turf War. Because why? Turf War isn't fun no more and it's shit on Splatoon 3 and Splatoon 2 in my opinion. Um, to play on solo queue Turf War, go watch Jack Ogen. Jack Ogen does Turf War and Vibe. Uh, go, go watch players that play Turf War on non-solo. So... I got to say, Turf War isn't that good, anyways. Next up, number 15, Splatdowns. Um, Splatdowns is one of my worst modes in Splatoon 3. Uh, you get locked out instantly, and you there's no way to get out because uh, one of these maps ain't good for Splatdowns. And that's why I hate zones. It's make me want to rage quit, make me want to avoid this mode. I know Blue Fan Zones is good. So by the way, um, <sighs> Turf War, I mean, Splash Zones fucking sucks. And you should avoid this mode if you hate zones. Uh, am I right? Next up, number 16, Tower Control. Look, um, I know Tower Control is a escort type of mode. The problem with Tower Control is one of my teammates do not get on the damn tower. I have a broken R trigger rage from high jump challenge because the re-slider killed me and made me throw my controller and broke the R trigger, which is sucks ass. So tower control is one of these modes that one of your damn teammates do not get on the fucking tower. Hey, good luck with that. Play with non-solo queue teammates that knows how to play tower control. And the problem is with tower control, blasters. Blasters are damn annoying and the vein of their existence. Um, backline players kills me too. They're the vein of the existence too. Sorry to disrespect you folks. So anyways, tower control, not much, one of my least favorite modes ever, folks. Next up, number 17. I hate to say it, the matchmaking. Um, you get match match with um bad calm or sometimes good calm. Either any mode, whatever. You get matchmate with dumbass teammates. Sorry for blaming teammates on you folks. Don't be putts. Putts are gonna say, I'm gonna mock putts. Um teammates, get on the fucking rainmaker. You don't help, you don't shoot, you don't do shit, you don't move the fuck up. You don't do anything! Move the fuck up! You fucking cunch! So anyway, folks. Yeah, and I say stop mashing me with shit, Nintendo. Or nice matchmaking. Like matchmaking just kicked you in the fucking balls. Okay? So anyways, um I'll try not to blame the teammates too much because I blame my teammates a lot on Splatoon 3 in the past and the matchmaking because Dude, it got the match make with good teammates and not lose all time. Okay, next up, number 18, Ink, Ink Jet. <clears throat> so I don't like Ink Jets in 2018 on Splatoon 2 because, dude, the reason I don't like Ink Jet because uh, the hit detection is shit and the RNG is terrible, man. Like, I use the charcoal to character because it's the only Ink Jet special inkjet weapon online but i still hate inkjet you gotta be lucky getting kills with the goddamn inkjet because inkjet doesn't kill well like people who like inkjet what's wrong with you man like if you like inkjet good that's fair play inkjet <clears throat> especially freaking brow snake likes inkjet like i like inkjet i'm gonna use shark attack the character like psst, boom Psst, boom, psst, boom, psst, boom. Like, damn. <laughs> like, for me, I hate Inkjet in a burning passion. It's RNG, and you have to be lucky for that. And it's, you be vulnerable. You know you're vulnerable? Boom, dead. They're gonna kill your ass. Boom, dead. Just like you're using an ultimate from Exify and Black Ops 3. You get instantly dead. Oh my god. Oh my ranting gang to my brain. Number 19. The worst maps on Splatoon 3. Um, the maps I don't like is Salmon Run maps. 
I got you, Salmon Line players. <laughs> um, miss me, Malwux. Do I want to spring? I know I, I have a skill issue, but if I want to spring, maybe change. Maybe I'll revisit my world. Um, Wahoo World, I'm not really a huge fan of Wahoo World. It's an okay map. Um, Scorch Gorge, get rework. Um, Eel Tail Alley, get rework. Hammerhead Bridge, um, they did our bets with the rework, but yeah, it's okay. Bunko Dime rework is okay too. And also, um, yeah, I gotta say, um, Bluefin Depot and Flounder. It's, I I got to say, it does suck, but it's still goaded. Like, seriously, I don't care. I could play, I could play Flounder and Bluefin because I'm sick of the haters still. But yeah, these are, these are some maps that I don't like about Splatoon 3. Um, sorry I'm being gibberish because it's unscripted because I don't care. Miss me sucks. Wahoo sucks. Rhyma sucks. I know it's a skill issue. And then, um... Eel Till Alley and Scorch Lord, Scorch Gorge, get my major map rework. Please, oh the lava god. Number 20, Twitter, Twitter X. Um, I get tired of seeing, um, shitty Twitter posts and also Twitter posts from a Goblin Square. Twitter is a number one worst platform on the internet. Twitter X. Thank God Elon Musk ruined the platform. Guess what? I quit Twitter since 2018. Six years ago. Because Twitter is full of idiots. Twitter, Twitter degenerates want to cry like a bitch. Being a crybaby over Splatoon, like, example, somebody won the Splatfest and get mad over Splatfest. They get mad at people's shit for no reason. And and bullying people and making people quit Twitter X because why Twitter sucks so uh, I get tired of hate posts on Twitter and negative posts on Twitter on Angopolis and Splatville posts because why Twitter fucking sucks hey if you have Twitter do me a favor and quit Twitter delete your Twitter account permanently don't use it ever again Twitter is full of morons. And I gotta say about haters, I gotta say to Twitter degenerates in a Splatoon community, Activine community, and a gaming community, you suck at life and you act like a little kid and a 13 year old. Grow the fuck up, touch grass, mow the freaking lawn, do some chores, get a job, be nice to your parents, because guess what, Twitter degenerates? Your family don't like you, and people don't like you, okay? Twitter fucking sucks. Elon Musk sucks. Do me a favor and quit Twitter. Honorable mention, the negative Splatoon. I've been avoiding negative Splatoon all the damn time. So I get videos from the Rattlesnake over Splatfest hate. I get videos from Pro Charles about why Splatoon 3 match sucks, but that bullshit and good thing is Bullshaw made a positive video hey I'm proud of that and especially as a manipulator which is who rage at Splatoon 2 and it's really hilarious so by the way um I haven't got banned I haven't got banned from 4 chats that's what Ralph's snake I got to call it Chase for Twitter Clout 24-7 <laughs> Got him! <laughs> oh, laugh at me all you want! <laughs> so yeah, yeah, freaking, freaking 13 year olds and little kids. Oh, whine all you want, man. It don't help at all. Like, seriously, I wish Splatoon community is more positive than a negative community. Hey, I quit DeviantArt four years ago, though. So, by the way, um, oh yeah, I wish I could defeat that Tadra Julie Rouse snake. Oh my god, Chase Bank. <laughs> Screw the negative Splat tubers. And Bachelor Plus 12, you are an idiot. He, de he deserves to be banned for saying the Epsler. He deserves to retire from Splatoon and streaming butts. Because why? Plus, blame his teammates. No signal. 
Bang Bang Bang, no signal, use elsewhere, rush to the Rainmaker and eject up and blame teammates. Because why? Hot sucks. He's the next Wings of Redemption. So I am sorry for trash talking that is flat to us because why? They have a skill issue and they suck at Splatoon 3. And fake Splatoon players sucks at Splatoon 3. So anyways, I am sorry for trash talk against that is flat to us. Oh, chase for Twitter Cloud 24-7. Ha! You mad, bro? I'm gonna put that as a goddamn meme. So anyways, in conclusion, this is an ultimate rant and ultimate frustration from 20 things I hate about Splatoon 3. If you don't like the video, that's fine. If you disagree with my opinion, that's fine. If you don't like me, that's fine. I have my fans, Upsol Sandra. Um, if you don't like Clamplets, that's fine. If you don't like some of the modes that I like, that's fine. If you don't like my weapons of my choice, that's fine. You don't like my build, that's fine. You don't like my opinion about Salmonon, that's fine. Uh, you don't like Splatoon 3 PvP, that's fine. You don't like Splatoon 3, that's damn fine. Um, I'm not gonna deal with that. I'm not gonna put up with this drama and arguments because my opinion could be valid in this statement. So anyways, that is it for that, man. This is Saul Sandra. If you somehow what the Saul Sandra is cooking. Anyway, folks, catch you folks later. Um, Faustin. Hey, Faustin, can you take over, man? My voice is hurting. Oh, hell. Oh, hello. I am Faustin. Oh, God. Uh, do you like my math? Lock out. Look closely to the screen. One, two, three. Oh crap, did they ask scare you? I am sorry, change your pants and go back to swark. Haha, <laughs> good night. <laughs>